Hello, 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 hello. Let's go. Welcome to episode one of the Bradford City Karimo. This series will probably be lasting on the majority of the channel for quite a while. Expect here. Uh, I've actually not played Pete Karimo yet or anything like that. Well, that's a lie. Okay, I did a load in the West Ham United Karimo just because of that. When I didn't really want to do well, so I did like a sneak peek at the menus and stuff like that. But uh, okay, I'm lying. <laughs> I got it on Xbox about like I got it on Xbox about a day a day or two after it came out. So I have played it, I played the majority of the journey as well. If you guys want to see a, a playthrough, I'm not planning on doing one. But you guys, if you guys do want to see a playthrough of the journey, because uh, I do need to do it for my Hunter's Hotspur series, which I'll be doing on my main channel, in case you guys didn't know. But uh, yeah, let's get right into the Bradford City Karimo. I am so unbelievably hyped. We should start off. I am going to the 60%. I am going to the 60% increase to your starting transfer budget uh, bonus ability, because we are a road to glory team, which we will need it. I am going to take one of the top global scouting networks because we're road to glory team. We will need it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be bolting. Bolting. All right, who am I kidding? Um, who, am I, who am I kidding? All right, let's just let's just find the joke. There we go. We're going to be Leeds United. Welcome to Leeds United. Lot United. Kareem. Anyway, <laughs> that'll never happen. Sorry if you want to see a Leeds United Kareem. That'll never be happening. But uh, yeah, from targets, we've got domestic success. They want it to be high. Uh, they've got continental success, very low. Brand exposure low, which I'm pretty thankful about. Financial medium, I was hoping this would probably be a bit low. Oh well. And uh, youth, develop yeah, youth development, which is low. I'm founded in 1903. Bradford City is currently at, at based in Bradford. Real? I didn't realise. The club has been added to one domestic cup to the trophy case, which was a playoff trophy. I mean, they've won the FA Cup as well. But uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that was too long ago because it was a very long time ago. Honestly, none of these people look like me whatsoever. I have to go for Chen though. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go for him. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the tracksuit as well. We'll keep the Mister. We'll just call ourselves Mister CMI. <laughs> sound like a sound like a really rubbish. I don't know. What what does it sound like? And uh, yeah, we're gonna turn on European competition in the first season. And uh, yeah, world class five minutes uh, sterling, which is basically just pounds and stuff. Uh, Ivy Lane. I am going to change the stadium. There was there, there we go, go guys. I have chosen the same East Point Arena uh, because of m m capacity. Oh my god! I thought I changed the name and it took me so long to do. Capacity. Uh, City's actual capacity is around forty thousand, I believe, or thirty thousand, around that. But uh, honestly, looking from this picture, it looks most like Bradford City Stadium. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> obviously, the stadium is not in the game because it's not good enough. It's a bit of a shame. But anyway, we will be getting straight into this. Download those latest updates and let's go. CMI set to take Bradford City by storm. Bill, I'm sorry if you can hear some like drums in the background, basically my dad's in a band and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I have to play drums, which is a shame because I make YouTube videos. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to put music in the background of this video anyway. You probably guys can't even hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to send this clip here. Alright guys, so right now we are going to advance to the invite because spare money is always good. And wow, Bradford got a massive upgrade. Last season, like, the max you could get is 1.5 million. Now the least you could get is 1.8 million. Hmm, I generally think... No, they're all two-star. I'm pretty confident that we're going to win it. Let's get into this. And by the way, I won't really be playing the preseason ones. I haven't decided what I'm going to do preseason yet, but... Uh, I doubt we're going to play it. And, yeah. Let's just go straight into this squad report, honestly. I am so happy. Alright, in that, we start off with 67 rated Colin Doyle. Did sign for Bradford for one pound, so I don't know why we can sell him for 475k there. Uh, then we have Reuven Sattelmeyer. Not too sure how to pronounce his name. I think it's Sattelmeyer, something like that. It's got a weird thing. Uh, well, the one thing I like about it is 6 foot 5, 6 foot 2. He's got two pretty tall goalkeepers and two pretty high rated for a League 1 side. And he could probably even do it for me in Championship, but. Probably what happened for that one. I might probably will sell them in, Janu ja uh, in January and get a new goalkeeper. I haven't decided yet what to do the goalkeeper situation, but yeah, I honestly, I love these two goalkeepers in real life, so I'm not too sure. In the right back, unfortunately, we've only got one player there, and that is Stephen Darby, the former Liverpool legend. I won't exactly say legend, I mean, play like two games in the Champions League and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, now 27 years of age, 67 rate, he will probably definitely do it for us for the first, possibly even the second season. Uh, maybe even third, you never know. 
of this career mode. But uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. We'll probably need to get some depth though in the centre back position. And onto the uh, in the right back position, onto the centre backs, and we are sorted as heck. We have Ron Ricardo, a bit of a beast at the club to be honest. 65 rated, 29 years of age. He is very good. However, I am considering putting him on the transfer list because we have. If you look for our other centre backs, you'll know why. And so we have Nevin Clark. Oh, I am going to add to the transfer list. He is a good player. But he's 13 years of age, 65, and yeah, a bit of a dip between these two. However, his hair also really. Just look at his hair. There's that one little bit that just comes off. Anyway, next up we have Quan Boateng, and um, this guy's a bit of a youngster. I think, can he play right back? Can he play right back? He can't play right back. In real life, he plays right back for us. I don't know why he's a centre back on this game. But yeah, his potential is actually 68. Uh, however, I probably won't be going into that potential. Because 68, probably probably like a second team play maybe for the championship season I'm not too sure and then we have probably last one of our starting centre backs Nathaniel Knight Percival probably one of my favourite players at the club right now did recently sign from Shrewsbury he was the captain of Shrewsbury came to the Man Bantams and now he is a Bradford City player this we have Matthew Kilgallon who has also recently signed We've got, we have to really change our team believe me 68 rated 32 years of age 425k uh, recently joined However, I might probably let him go at the end of the season. I'm sorry. Depends on if he gets along. But uh, what well, I don't like on FIFA 16, both these could play in a left back, and on this game, none of, neither of them can play a left back. Right. Next up, we have James King, who is 1947. Probably won't be using him too often. And uh, on the left position, again, we just need fullbacks. We just need full I hope we'll be able to get some through the youth scout thingy. Uh, but in the left back position, I actually have James and Meredith. Meredith. One of my favorite players. He is Australian. He is fast. He is a good player. And uh, yeah, hopefully he'll be at the club for quite a long time. All right, going on to the CDM position, we actually have Romain Vincelot, who I love this guy, not not, not a lie. And the best thing about him, can play centre back as well. He may be third, and, and honestly, probably would play centre back unless it's needed because he's five foot ten, which is not very good. But uh, yeah, I love this player. He's a great player. Signed from Coventry, for qu actually quite a hefty fee apparently. I'm not too sure about that. Then we, uh, yeah, 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 whoa, my mouth just killed itself honestly next up we have timothy the yank who is a good player in real life awful on fifa unfortunately which is a bit of a shame six foot two for a cdm and also best about him I play center back that's right uh if he was a bit younger i'd probably grow him up but i'm probably not going to use him too often unless it's needed because uh i don't really like this player in real life he's all right he did get old and old and athletics player of the season last season but uh yeah all right on the right mid position this one, this one confused me we've got Tony mcmahon who was honestly one of the key players of Bradford last season because he was just he could play right back centre mid, right mid, he could play left mid. I think I think he played left mid in, in like one or two games. But yeah, we have tournament man here. Who what positions can he play? He can only play right mid and right back on this game, which I don't really get. Probably won't be playing because he's 30 years old, 60 rate, hate his hair. Hair is a lot to me on FIFA. Next up we have the pace demon himself, Mark Marshall. What a beast he is. The is that camera? I think that's Cameroon. The Cameroon Beast can also play on either side of the wing uh, with that five-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Unfortunately, he's a bit old, but oh well, he'll probably do for the first season. Then we have Felipe Moraes, who is a Portuguese right midfielder. Best thing about him? Compare right mid, left mid, and cam. All right, and he's also pretty pacey. So we've got a very reverse, I think versatile, is that the word? Versatile? Doesn't sound right. Uh, we've also got a very versatile, is it reverse style? Um, screw it. I've also got a very versatile squad. And then next up, we have the most confusing one in the whole squad. Josh Cullen, all right? On loan from West Ham United. Not me funny, but in my opinion, he was probably Bradford City's second best player of the season last season. He did play for his on loan last season. And um, yeah, I don't get how he's only 61 rate. I would have put him 66, 67. Real confusing. I probably won't be growing him too much because uh, he plays for West Ham United, technically. Unless if we just like cancel his log and buy him now, I probably wouldn't have grown because by the time I do grow, might be like 67 rated. And then it costs a lot of money for us. I don't know. I haven't said it yet. It depends who else needs training. Next up, ah, another one I just don't get. Daniel Devine for us has been probably, I want to say our player, player of the season so far this season. But he's, but he's definitely been up there, okay? I just. I just don't get it, man. But he has recently signed a contract in real life, so I probably won't be letting him go. Might let him go on, a sh on like a short-term loan, but he's one of my favourite favorite players in real life. I don't get I was on the 50 raid. Confused times. Next up, we have Nicky Law, who has had an upgrade since I last played with Bradford on Korean mode. 6-7 uh, rating now. Left midfielder, what? He does not play left midfield for us. Anyway, he can now play left mid and send him mid. He plays right mid or send mid for us. Don't really get that, to be honest. Next up, we have Harris Vukic. Who um, is a bit of a good player, by the way. We do need some depth on the left side of the game. But uh, like I said, uh, Moraes and Marshall can both play on that side. Anyway, uh, 
Next up, we have Harris Vukic, who is a good player in real life. However, on FIFA, he's not the best because he's on loan. He's 23 years old, 65 red. Going to be quite a crucial player in the first season. Uh, after that, he will be let go. And next up, we have Bill Clark, one of the best players at this team, probably. I think he's signed from Crawley, was it? About three seasons ago, and he's just popped up in every single game ever since. Great player. <laughs> okay. Now we have the green giant himself, okay? This guy is annoying as flip. He is one of the fan favorites, Bradford. I despise this guy, honestly. Just screw you, James Hansen. You're going straight on the bench. Uh, straight on the transfer list. I do not want him, to be honest. And uh, yeah, next up we have Vincent Rabi Rabiega, Rabiega. I think it's Rabiega. Um, and he's recently signed from Lech Poznan in the Polish League. The team had, what was his name? I think it was Kapuska. I probably pronounced that, sorry. Kapuska, who now plays a. Uh, uh, what's called Leicester. We have Reece Webb Foster. Again, he's been at the club for quite a while now. Decently fast striker. However, his potential is not very good. Uh, we have another personal favourite of mine, Mark McNulty, who is 64 rate, 24 years of age, and hopefully he'll be good for the first season on loan from Sheffield United, unfortunately. And finally, we have Jordi Hiwula, uh, another pace demon. I probably want him to sign him at the end of the season because he has a decent potential, about 73, 4, or something like that. Yeah, I hope that will be signing him. 21 years of age, very fast. Very good player, and that is the squad. I'm gonna go for it, put some players on the transfer list, and I'll tell you who I have put on the transfer list. All right, guys, I've only put quite a few players on the transfer list. Um, where are the status? There we go. I've only put five players on the transfer list. Uh, that includes James Henderson, who I just despise. To be honest, I hate this guy. He's no good whatsoever. His stamina may be great, but he misses like open net headers, and he's. His head is supposed to be like, he's supposed to be the best header on, header on the team. Uh, we have Nathan Clark, unfortunately, had to let him go, 65 rated, 15 years of age. Probably, he's probably like a 4th, 5th best centre back, which is crazy to say, 65 rated. We have Tony McMahon, which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, might as well get him off before he becomes like 60k. Uh, and then we have James King and Kwam Boateng, but I'm actually just going to quickly add Daniel Divide on that. Uh, but yeah, now let's go to the transfer budget, which is in here, and... I know, I don't like how they changed so much, but we have 3.465 million and 15k on the wage. I'm just going to adjust that to about 3 million. Oh my god, we have a lot of money to play with, guys. I did not expect to get this. Uh, but in case you guys know, recently in real life, Bradford have actually been kind of taken over, uh, which is decent by some random Asian people. Um, yeah, let's go through the objectives, and then I'll probably get into the more fun stuff like transfers. Sorry about if you guys haven't really enjoyed the start of this episode. It will get better, trust me. All right, here we go. So, in the first season, they wanted us to reach the round of 32 stage in the Emirates FA Cup. Uh, and within two seasons in the EFL League 1, they wanted us to gain automatic promotions. Wanted to get into the first season. And, uh, yeah. Financial, they wanted us to finish 2.5 million. What is the point in that, ladies and gentlemen? What is the point in that whatsoever if they've given us so much money? Uh, Alright, domestic success. However, that's a medium, so it doesn't really matter too much. I might let that one go. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, this season, they want us to fight for promotion. We will be getting promotion, believe me. And in the FA Cup, they want us to reach the round of 32 stage. And uh, no contest for success. And keep a streak of at least 85%. Yeah, yeah. Keep a streak of at least 85%. 85% attendance in five consecutive home matches. All right. I don't know how to do that. I don't. What? Well, okay. Uh, youth development. Sign one player in your youth academy at Santa with a defender position. That should be easier. Sign one player to the senior team in the same position. And they were scouted. What? Playing five matches, either as part of the starting eleven or coming as a sub. That again should be easy. I'm gonna go sort out the youth. Okay, guys. So right now on my current transfer thingy, I've only got three players. I know I did not transfer targets video, but I'm kind of just gonna ignore that for now. Uh, but I have taken, I believe, two players from that. Uh, Starting off, we have Norman Mukiele, and the best thing about this guy is he can also play centre back, right back, and CDM. I know he has been bought in several career modes in the past, on FIFA 16 especially. But I used him quite a lot in FIFA 16, and he was, a bit of, he was always a bit of a cream of beast. Next up, we have Devante Klut. I know it sounds a bit dirt. Uh, Klut. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. He can play Cam and Centimate. He is 60 rated. What is this? No, he's 63 rated. I know that. Because uh, recently, before this, I watched a Masterbooks video. And he told me he was 63 rated, and he had potential 75, which is not too bad. And the main target we have, this guy, starts with 63 rated. Connor Chaplin. Chaplin's on fire. That, yeah, he starts in the sun. And uh, this guy has a potential of 80 plus. So he'll probably be with us at the start and probably with us at the end if everything goes well. And showing you guys the youth stuff. I bought 200, 300, uh, bought two 325k people. Probably going to send Mason Wilson out to England because he's English. And it, how do you say his first name? Aoin? I think, I think it's like Ian as well. That's stupid. Uh, I'm going to send him actually out to Croatia, one of my preferred countries in the world. 
yeah, I'm not going to sign them to any specific positions, but hopefully they will bring back good stuff. And uh, I, do, I do not want to see that profit gone, you know. Do not want to see that. Anyway, we're about to do some trading. Okay, guys, unfortunately, the problem with Bradford, right now, they haven't got too many players worth trading. However, one of the main players is Reese Webb Foster. I believe he's a, a potential 70, low 70s. Um, but yeah, he has a very pace, good striker, and he's been around at Bradford for so long. I think, I think we should give him trading. I was going to train Vincent Rabiega. Uh, however, I don't like the fact he didn't have a face, which really boosts me. I always judge a player mainly from that. Right, the results are in Web Foster gets a tiny bit of growth, which is actually quite good because usually the players don't grow on the first time it gets a D, a D, a C, a C, a C. Not the best results for the first time around. However, we are finally going to advance towards this Leighton Orient game, which I will be simming, but uh, yeah, better better sim to be honest. I mean, you do have a play conversation. Kawan Boateng, boss, my to make a crest. No, you may not. I'm not going to rotate the team, but I might as well go through the team with you guys right now. Right guys, so this is a starting lineup I have gone with. And by the way, if this video gets a bit jolty, uh, it's because it's my birthday today, I actually believe it or not, hence why I got FIFA. And um, yeah, I'm going to make a video on my main channel about that. Uh, but basically, yeah, this is the main team. It's a pretty strong team. I, I like the fact that there's not a single player under uh, who is actually a bronze player from Jordi Hiwula, who has a quick, pretty decent potential. But yeah, uh, yeah, I am having chicken for tea. But not not like posh chicken, like fried chicken, you know. I have a nice chicken. I, I'm going to quick some games. So I just, just turn my back on the door, which is a bit of shame. Uh, meaning he's got chicken. And yeah, let's do this. I'm completely off topic. Uh, Saturday, July the 3rd. And yeah, there's striker Jordan Bowery. He used to actually play for us. And Felipe Moraes gives us the lead through this penalty spot. Can we keep going? Can we get another goal, hopefully? We do want to win this tournament because as much money as possible, very good. They've brought in a Starman Methagu. I don't, I don't know what that means with the little accent above his name. Tom Parks equalizes for them. We're going to skip. We do get the win. Jordi Huwula, the bronze lad himself, gets through and probably slots it away. I'm, I'm guessing. And, uh, yeah. What are we recording? What? Where? Where? Right, guys. So we've got a free... Scouty plays, but apart from kind of shuffling, but it's a very close nose price, and he's the main player I want to get, so I'm just gonna. They still have to be good at that's what I want to say. I'm gonna shame for a cheeky bit of 450k. I'm not really looking to pay 600k for kind of shuffling right now, but because of it, I will probably offer a player. And uh, Devante Klutz, 63 red, I am just gonna push for a bit for him. Honestly, not too bad if that one gets rejected. Recently signed a new contract. I'm gonna offer 450k. I know it didn't sound normal because recently signed a contract. Go for 600k, mate. Go for 600k. Not gonna go for him like that. Uh, finally, Nordi Mikiel. It's 64 right on this game. I think it was 59 or 60 on the last game. No, 61 or 2. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, 700k. I'm gonna have to offer a play for this guy. I just wanna check how much is Nick. Oh, Nickelodeon here. Damn it. Uh, who shall we? I'm attempting to order Rory McCardle. Hmm. I am going to order, offer Ron McCardle a bit of a shame because I do like this guy so much. I offer 400 k alongside that because Ron McCardle, he is 65 rated, however he is 29 years of age and all that, we could have one player, a guy who's one rate less, but about literally 11 years is it younger? I'm not very good at maths, I mean, I mean third set out of four, why did I tell you guys? <laughs> I'm so weird. Uh, yeah, we are going to go into the final sim game. Uh, I think a point will secure it for us, I'm pretty sure it will. And uh, yeah, we do got a final scout report on Tony Chapman. But I'm not going to read that. I'm going to go straight into this game against Citadella. I'm going to guess that's an Italian club. Kind of sounds like it. Citadella. I'm not sure. Felipe Moraes again gets us off the mark in the first minute. I don't even know how it's possible, to be honest. Might do a bit of a Christian Benteke and score in like 10 seconds or something like that. Uh, Darby picks up a yellow card. Uh, Letere equalizes for them. Felipe Moraes with his second of the game. Gets it from the spot again. He's got three goals in three games for us right now. Pretty good if you ask me. Can he get the hatchet? That's the real question. Or can we just secure the victory here? Hopefully we can. And Jesus Christ, Billy Clark scores, but Letary gets a second. We do win that game 3 2. What a game that must have been, Jesus Christ. But that was a perfect game. Victory. Fortunately, not a clean sheet, but I don't think we're going to book it. And we have got ourselves a rivalry. Woo! We got Bradford TV vs Doncaster. What a rivalry that is. Come in. Okay, guys, so I, I am back from Ema Chicken, and no, I am not black. And uh, yeah, we'll come out with some bad news. And uh, yeah, it's not really looking too good on the transfers from. I am going to offer a play for Crunchyroll. We're actually going to offer Nathan Clark because I think it, it's going to get us closer to that price for the one for him. We're only 300k off. I mean, come on, that's not too much. And um, the advantage Clark, he's not recently moved to the team, has he? I, I bought him once last year, and he was 61 rated. Maybe, maybe he was like. 
He played for a date for an Australian team back then. I'm not sure. Probably did. And then Nadi Mugele uh, has been rejected. Got for 500k plus Ryan McArdle. And we'll see how that transfer goes down. Now we've got the game against Doncaster. Right, guys. So we have now got the game against Doncaster. A bit of a rivalry going on here both york's clubs and hopefully we'll be we'll be we will be there yeah, we'll be the york's club to come out with the victory doncaster actually did get relegated in real life down to league two but they've still got some good players for example on the bench there uh matthew, matthew borridry he is a good player as we take the lead with matthew kilgore on giving us the lead and then they mr pelly this looks like a good game and billy clark gives it back and then they get new pelly what coppinger puts that one away hopefully we can keep the lead as roman vince a lot gives us the free one lead i'm just gonna skip it 3-2, not the best. Um, it looks like our star man right now has been injured. Felipe Moraes has been injured. And we have got a game with FC20, which I will be playing. And yeah, that'll be the last game of the episode before uh, I'll, end, I'll end the episode basically after that. And I'm going to praise a Yunal. I'm just going to go have a look at this guy because he's got a rate of 7.7. .7. He must be pretty class. Guys. Oh, are you kidding me? I fought for the right gem then. I saw I saw you now. I saw the strike, which got, got me very excited. And I saw he was 19 years old. So it me even more excited. But he's on loan. He's on loan from Manchester City, which is a shame because honestly, I kind of want I kind of wanted to get this guy. Bit of a beast, you know. But yeah, we've now got the game against FC20. Let's get you know, Let's just get straight into the game. You know, I'm hyped. I'm gonna go past that Felipe Moraes injury and get straight to the game. Ah, uh, what? What? We're gonna lose Chaplin. I am not losing Chaplin. If I, if I lose Chaplin, all right. How much do they offer for him? Five hundred seventy k. All right, I'm gonna use my secret little trick here. Five hundred seventy six k. Let's go. The offer is five hundred seventy. The accepted five hundred seventy five k from Luton was it? And uh, yeah, it's not that going again. We have a transfer from except for Nordic UK earlier. That will have him for the game against FC Twenty. But we will if we get lucky. I hear though, I can't. I can't change the free. I'm losing three pounds there. Honestly, just off from that, he'll be a star man for the future. He's got, uh, I think he's got in low 80s, high 70s potential. So yeah, he will definitely be a good one for the series. No! We've lost Colin Chaplin. Right, this guy is not leaving us. Guys, Colin Chaplin will return. What a sad episode, man. If we just got Colin Chaplin, not a Mookie Alien, this would be the best episode ever. However, we need to go past it. We will... Probably still bring Colin Chaplin, and what I'm planning on doing, I'm just gonna play them in their away kit. I'm gonna offer a loan for Colin Chaplin, a short term loan, and see if we can get for that. And uh, yeah, I need to start the team now. I just, I just kept the exact same team, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, I'm going with a going with a little bit of a long shot on Billy Clark and the pace up top with Hewula. Left, we've got 6 7 rated Nicky Law, bit of an all rounder, and the pace beast himself, Mark Marshall. And Cam, we've got the West Ham beast, Joshua Cullen. And uh, see, the end, we've got the captain. Of the squad, he's, he's captain in real life. I'm just going to change that in a second. Uh, Roman Vincent. Left back, we've got the Australian James Meredith. From right back, we've got the ex Liverpool player Secret Dyer. In net, we've got the one pound beast. And centre back, we've got the uh, the experience and the former captain of Shrewsbury Town. Let's flip in. Do this. Yeah, <laughs> let's do this. The start to our Bradford City career will begin here. What a stadium we're at. We're at the Amsterdam Arena. I don't know if that's um, 20, FC 20's actual stadium. I'm pretty sure I mustn't be. But we've got the Danes running himself there. You now, is it? Don't know how to pronounce that. And that was definitely a wrong man's pass to Not me passing. This is my first game on PS4 and PS17. Hopefully, it'll be a good one. Let's do this. James Meredith pacing this down the line. Puts out Jordy Hewula. I'm going to go back. Never too need, need to be afraid to go back. And we just can't get that one main pass off uh, to, to keep the possession. However, we do have a possible chance in here. Josh Cullen can spot Nicky Laura at wide, who will just throw in a ball. Oh, that's our first chance of the 17. Very unlucky. Will it be a ball? No, it won't. What just happened? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can change the camera angle. I'm not gonna do it now, but look, if I press that, oh, no, wait, wait, what, eh? <laughs> what so have I just done? Maybe they have to have possession. I'm not sure, I'll find out now. Oh, whoa, 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 two. Too much. Okay, I did not mean to do any of that. The car angle feels weird, though. I'm not, not gonna lie, it just doesn't feel right. But Matt Marshall here, he's pacing this down the line, he's gonna put the ball in! Joshua Cullen has missed an absolute sit-up, but we do have our first corner. I do, do kind of like the new corner thingy. 
but Nicky Law throws it towards Nathaniel Knight person who's got a good head in it. Back up to Nicky Law. Puts that in, and the goalkeeper can punch it out. Come and get to him. Get the ball back. Matthew Kilgom, you're supposed to be a centre back. Goggins Holster. No idea how to pronounce that. Not exactly. I do not know. It's highly better Netherlands, but they've calmed down play a bit. Colin. Roman Vince a lot. Jesus Christ, how is that not a foul? G Liz, how what? Hello? Matt Marshall. Clacking the ball in. Shoot! Oh! Nicola can't find the inside pass, like so poor. No, nothing seems to be working right now. Bear in mind you can make unlimited substitutions in this. I will probably be making several substitutions. Hopefully even change my goalkeeper. I'm looking Nicky Law. Runs in here towards Matt Marshall. Why did Josh Cullen run away from the ball there? Just go towards it. Shoot the ball and get the flipping goal, mate. And we do have a throw in quite a still dangerous position. Nicky Law to Meredith. So he will uh, can't no one in support. Josh Cullen sorts a foul and we will get the free kick there. What can we do for this? I don't think it's in the shooting range, is it? I hope it is, and it is in the shooting range. Let's do this. However, oh, we don't have a left foot, I need a right foot. Ah. Oh. Do you have Mark Marshall? However, he is a left foot. I'm gonna stick Marshall on it. Not too good in free kicks. My first free kick on FIFA 17. It's good! What a save! I, I'm so tempted to do the it's good finger there. We get free kicks out of the ass right now. We're just constantly getting them. FC20 quite a dirty team, it appears. Cullen. Cullen! How did you freaking miss that? How, how are we not 1 0 up yet? We've so dominated. The belly like two shots. Maybe the difficulty is a bit too easy. It is on world class case, guys. I'm wondering. I'm not even going to ask Colin. I'm not even, not even going to ask. Alright, I'm starting to get why you're 61 rating on flipping FIFA, mate. Colin back to Vincent. Matt Marshall. Blister him. <laughs> Didn't really do too much. Matt Marshall has kept possession, though. And has put a good ball in. Cleared out edge. On the edge. Just Colin. Finish that. What? I will. Like, you, <laughs> you blocked it yourself, mate. Tackle him, you need the ball off. What, why is, what, what is that, why, why was there, why was there a yellow dot in the middle of the thing there? And with that is half time, I am going to make some substitutions. Uh, we've absolutely smashed this. I am going to change the goalkeeper, I hope we have a goalkeeper on the bench. We do have a goalkeeper on the bench, alright. I am going to bring in Ron Mikado, probably for Matthew Kilgallon. Change, Roman Vincelot, I'm going to make all the substitutions here by the way. Roman Vincelot for Timothy Dieng. Oh, up from Gong Gong, Matt Minnelli, Harris Vukic, Vukic, and yeah, it was just James Hansen who didn't come on, and there's just James Hansen, oh, me, who is not com gonna come on, <laughs> let's all be honest. Oh, you've got to me. <sighs> They've not even had a shot yet, and they just get a final net, please don't book me. Turn up your book, mate, just don't send me off, mate. You're gonna send me off, are you? You're gonna send me off, oh, thank God. Get yeah, buffing. Is that Timothy the end? Nathaniel Knight Percival. Wow. Right. I see you now as well who's going to take it. What do you guys think he's going to do? I'm going to go. Right. What a fucking penalty. McNulty. Take a shot, mate. Matt McNulty. Good save by their goalkeeper. We have ourselves a corner. I'm going to do the short technique. Nicky Law. Into Matt Marshall. Awkward. That's a Knight Percival. We're going to have to put his back. We kind of lost the opportunity. Let's can get to Law who's off. Cross it in. That was actually a pretty decent cross, but offside, man. Just get on side. How hard is it? And can, can we bring someone short? No. Oh, okay. Guess no one wants to follow commandments anymore. This is no Christianity or religion, <laughs> but commandments are still a fucking thing in FIFA. Matt Minot is stolen possession. He can spot Josh Cullen in the middle. Last man on select. We're on the ball. Just get the, get, the, get the ball in there, man. Not good enough. And now they might break with flipping FC20. You now. Now on the ball, the threat himself might not be bringing it in. Lame to series if he, he's done absolutely brilliant against us, to be fair. Rob Ricardo, good steal. The goal with Josh Cullen, who's awful in FIFA. However, McNulty, puts Mark Marshall, the pace beast himself, who is just going to smash it, and that is so bad. Coming for the end, Mark McNulty, down to Marshall. Haven't really used his pace too much. 
Just Derby. What the flip is that, Steve from Derby? You absolute, you melon. You absolutely just melon. I sound, I sound, I sound scarce. That's just not scarce. <laughs> that is not scarce, Jackson, whatsoever. You know, who else would it be on the ball? Trying to keep possession. Gets past Steve from Derby. Takes a long shot. Oh, why, why, why is he even running out to keep that in? Oh, just mark every man in the box. You know, there's number 17, I believe, here at front post. Get it out, it's a weird ball to be honest. We can't clear it as far as Harris and Vukic. We can't clear it whatsoever. And now they're gonna have a shot, now they're gonna score. Oh, we missed, okay, I'm, I'm gonna take that. Oh, that got blocked, what? I'm gonna take that as a sign that we need to, that we, we have God on our side, okay? Great ball to Harris Vukic. Oh my God, I thought he was the only one back. Matt Minoli, this should be a chance. Josh will why is always Josh Cullen? He can go. What the flip? Jo All right, you can never play again for us. Josh Cullen, you mate, you're just in space, and I'm getting a first time goal. This is awkward. as flip. Darby shrugs off his man. He's into James Meredith. One foot to another in the middle, actually. Josh Cullen. I went to Matt Marshall, who can hopefully cut in. Did it to Josh Cullen. Can he redeem himself? Eight minutes in, and no one cares about the score right now. And I just realised I was on balance the entire time. Probably why no one cares, to be honest. Ron McCardle will get across the holster. Not idea how to even pronounce that. Not even gonna lie. Ron McCardle, you legend. What a tackle. I mean, we definitely saw it in centre back position. Jesus Christ, man, get to it. Obviously, Josh Cullen. Run, mate. McNulty made the run down the line. Gives it into Mark McNulty. Matt Minolte can just run into Mark Marshall, Mark to Mark. Mark Marshall, he's done well here. Oh. I'm sorry for commentary there, was a, a bit bad at the end. But Josh will call him, what are you doing? I know he didn't lose the ball, but what the fuck was that? Of course it was you now, number 17, who scored. And that is a very disappointing game. I think we definitely do that. I'm not going to watch them look at Trevor. Look at that. We have never, we've dominated, we've dominated that game. I don't know, when did they even have four shots and four shots on target anyway? We dominated that game, and uh, yeah, it's no shame how far we came. But, oh well. Thank you for watching. That is going to end of episode one of the Bravity Cream Mod. Ending it on quite a lot of Connor Chaplin not quite going to us, and with the, uh, and with the loss in that game. However, next episode, guys, we will hopefully be starting the new season in the Football League 1. Even got the Football League 1. Is that like EFL 1 or something like that? I have no idea. Anyway, we're going to just... All right, we're going to do training here. I'm going to go check on a few things, like I'm going to put a loan offer, actually, for... Um, we have good news there. I'm going to put a loan offer for Crunch Chaplin, because I do not want to at all let this guy go. No lie of a doubt. Hopefully, they'll let him go. I mean, he's 19 years old. And he is 6 3 rated. I'm gonna go for a short term one though. Why are you what? You're looting the town, you muppet. You could have come to us and been a beast. Connor Chapman. Unfortunately, it went to the wrong type of orange. It went to Luton's orange over Bradford City's orange. And yeah. That's been the end of the video. Thank you for watching. This has been Korean Mode Impulse. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode. I personally enjoyed it. I'm gonna end it off with signing of Nordic Mukiele. He'll be in the starting lineup for the first game of the season, believe me, hopefully. Might play him in CDM, I haven't signed yet. Or right back. Because he can guys that's awesome the depth of the right back position you gotta remember. Uh, and um if he does well, it might be able to play him left back, I haven't signed yet. Thank you for watching. It's gonna be the end of the video, and I'll see you guys next time. I just get a transfer for Go set that Cork City, sign Daniel Devine. <laughs> Let me end the video, Cork City, okay. Thank you for watching. And the like and subscribe for more game videos, Cream Mode Impulse, signing out.